Hey everybody, this is Steve Huff at stevehuffphoto.com and today I'm going to do a quick video with some cool stuff that I have that really doesn't warrant a full video on its own. So I have some cool stuff I've been messing around with, some things that were sent to me to check out. And one thing that I recently received, which is really cool, is the My Passport Pro um, from Western Digital. Now I've always had, you know, portable hard drives that I took with me when I traveled. I have a MacBook Air that I use and I always need an external hard drive that's small, uh, fast, and one that fits in my bag. The problem is that I usually run out of space on those because I haven't bought one in a while, maybe two years. So I wasn't up on what's recent in the hard drive uh, field and the technology. So look at this thing right here. I got a hold of it. It's called the My Passport Pro now this is actually a four terabyte four terabyte travel drive i mean four terabytes that's insane my maxed out imac the most or most hard drive space i could get on it was three terabytes that's what i have this is four in a portable travel hard drive now there's some cool things that i like about it one of them is this is a actual dual drive and it's a raid and you're gonna get up to 233 megabytes per second of performance. So they're marketing in it for you know travel as well as for video editing, um, which I do a lot of, not so much for this website, but I do a lot of it. So there it is, it's the My Passport Pro. You can see here they have a cam, uh, film camera, or I mean video camera here, they're editing video. But what I really love about it is this is it. You take it out of the box, Okay, it's a little thick. That's because you have four terabytes here. It's a little heavy, but it's not insanely heavy. It's nothing like a big desktop drive. What I like about it is if you will notice, there's no place to plug in a power adapter. Why is that? Because you don't need it. This is a Thunderbolt hard drive. So it will plug into a MacBook, MacBook Air, iMac, anything with a Thunderbolt drive, um, which is really cool. This, the computer that you're using will power the drive. So basically, you have it sitting there. You plug this into your Thunderbolt port and you have an instant four terabytes of blazing fast hard drive space. Now this is gonna work out great for me because when I go out on the road and travel, I do do a lot of video work on the side that is not really uh, on my photo blog, but uh, I edit videos all the time, and the little hard drives that I've had before this weren't really cutting it. They were slow. I'd run out of space. This guy, I did a quick test. I plugged it into my MacBook Air, and I imported some video and edited it, and it was amazingly quick. And, it, you know, it barely... I can edit hundreds of videos, and it won't even make a dent in the space. So what's really cool about it is, like I said, the size... You can travel with it. It's made very well. It seems like a solid enclosure. Thunderbolt, you don't need a power adapter. It has a little bit of a built-in fan here, but it's not very loud when I used it, at least when I used it. And I just like how it's neat. It has rubber feet on the bottom. And it comes in at just over $400 on Amazon. <clears throat> now that is actually quite a deal for a travel portable 4 terabyte uh raid dual drive fast hard drive so if anybody's in search of a really cool like the ultimate travel uh, hard drive definitely check this out i'll throw the link to amazon below so you can direct click it and read all about it read reviews there's tons of reviews on amazon about it so that is the western digital my passport pro four terabyte very cool very slick very very nice what else do I have? A couple months ago, a company, Blacksmith Labs, sent me this little guy right here. And what it is, it is an iPhone case. Now it's a leather iPhone case, very well made, handcrafted, hand stitched. And uh, being a fan of high quality handmade products, um, when they asked me if I'd like to take a look at one, I said, sure, send one along. So they sent one along for my iPhone and I'm not really a fan of wearing uh, phone cases on my belt, 
but I did wear this one for like a month and after the first week I didn't even notice it was on my belt and it came in handy. I always knew where my phone was. So for those of you who like this sort of thing, who like a leather case that snaps up onto your belt that you could carry with you, it fits the iPhone perfectly. Nice and snug but not too tight. The leather soft. It feels very supple. It's not stiff. It's not hard or brittle. Um, and it's attractive. They come in all kinds of colors and it's a very nice product and it's reasonably priced. For more information, check out the link at Blacksmith Labs. I'll put it also in the description so you can go check it out for yourself. What else do I have here? I recently received a very interesting strap. Um, that's the cool thing about running a popular photo blog. I get people all the time who make handcrafted products and they want me to check it out because, um, you know, I have an interest in that as do a lot of my readers. Now this is a camera strap that is made out of leather on the back. Cecilia is the brand. So you have leather on the back and it looks like one of those old classic um, camera straps like they sell on Amazon which you can normally get for 15 or 20 bucks. I have one of those for 15 or 20 bucks. But what makes this one unique is, I don't know if you can read it, but it's made from alpaca wool. So this material here is made from alpaca wool. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but that is what makes this unique. You have full leather straps here instead of cloth. Um, and they're all stitched very nicely, very nice construction. So this, like I said, looks like those classic straps from the 70s, but it's kind of a uh, higher end, better made version. Like I said, I have one of those $15 straps from Amazon, and I like it, but this is more luxurious. So depending on what you want, if you want this luxurious leather look and feel, and the alpaca wool, check out the straps from Cecilia. Again, I will post a link um, in the bottom of uh, the description of the video. And they have a link right here, ceciliagallery.com. So you can check them out. You could check out what they have to offer. They have all different patterns and colors. And you could check out their prices uh, and see what they have to offer. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. So what else do I have here that I can show you guys? Actually, I think that's it. So, oh, I'll give you guys an update. I've been using also, I've reviewed this long ago, the Vaha case. It's just the basic grip case for my iPhone. And I've been using it for a couple of years now, I think. And it's holding up very well. And it's now developed a rich patina on the leather. And um, it started out pretty light in color. And now it's pretty dark and rich. And it's taken all over, you know, all of the... Um, things I've put it through, the dirt, you know, the oils, the whatever, and it's soaked into the leather and now it looks very rich and very cool. So go to VajaCases.com and you can pick these up. They always have them in stock now and they're pretty reasonable these days and uh, they're well made and they have a leather interior as well. And that's the Vaja from Vaja Cases. There you go. But that's about it. Um, I don't have anything else really cool to show you today, but that was the three things I wanted to go over. The My Passport Pro, which is highly recommended from Western Digital. The Blacksmith Labs iPhone case, which if you like this kind of case, I think you will really enjoy this because it's so well made and the price isn't uber ridiculous. Then you have the Cecilia Alpaca Classic Camera Strap with leather and alpaca wool. So there you go, some cool things today over at stevehuffphoto.com. Check out the site all the time. It's updated every single day, six days a week. I take Sunday off and it's updated with daily inspiration posts. It's updated with guest posts, guest articles, user reports, camera reviews, lens reviews, inspirational posts. There's always something cool. There's always something unique. There's always something to see at stevehuffphoto.com. If you like my videos here, be sure to subscribe and thumbs up. Subscriptions is what helps me 
helps motivate me to do more of these videos because I know more people are waiting for new videos. So I'm going to be doing more videos uh, here in the near future for this camera channel. So thank you all for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And as I said, always check back to stevehuffphoto.com. And many people ask me, what is this thing in your videos? That is a Zoom H6 recorder. I might as well tell you about this too. I use digital recorders into my video camera's mic input for a better quality audio. And I use it for other things as well, but this is a really killer uh, digital recorder, guys. These come off and you can put different microphones on them. So if you're looking for a digital recorder, one that's high quality uh, and versatile, the Zoom H6 is really, really cool. But that's what that's what's picking up my voice right now. So it adds a much better quality of sound to the videos than if I was just using the built-in mic of the camcorder. So there you go, stefaphoto.com. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye.